Art Market Budapest is a contemporary art fair with over 100 exhibitors and arts institutions that participate. There were paintings and sculptures, video, performance art, and photography even had its own floor on the top level. Exhibitors had from noon on Monday and the whole day Tuesday to set up their stand. Wednesday was the VIP opening day, and the fair was open to the public from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The stand that I worked at is called Knoll Gallery, which is an incredibly exciting gallery. Originally founded in Vienna, the gallery came to Budapest one year before the Soviet Union collapsed in 1989. Everyone said to the owner that it would be a total failure to start an art gallery in a Soviet country. But he was up for the challenge, and 30 years later, it is still a thriving arts institution in the city. They brought three contemporary artists to the fair. Clara Rudash is interested in reversing and questioning the basic elements that make up a painting. Usually, the shadow is in the background but she treats it like an object in her compositions that are abstract, but have some loose tie to real objects. Eva S. Pustai is a sculptor who is interested in systems. She creates flexible sculptures with durable materials that seem like they should be stable, but in fact have a good deal of motion and play. Just like systems in our society, we want them to be sturdy, but they often prove to be flexible and shaky. The third artist is a recently deceased Hungarian artist, Akos Birkás, whose painting just came to light for the first time since its original exhibition. This painting was created for a 1984 Planum Music Festival, which was an exciting underground festival in Soviet-era Hungary. I feel like you can almost hear the concert as you look at it. It's very spontaneous and filled with the energy you experience while listening to music. Overall, the fair was a great opportunity to see what is happening in contemporary art, to talk with collectors and exhibitors, and to experience what goes into planning and executing a stand at an art fair like this.